Hello once again, model car builders. My name is Trevor Slescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage show and tell video, where I show you one of the great model kits that I've built. Now, if any of you have been watching my What's in the Box or Model Car Garage videos, you know that a while ago I uh, did a review on this 1964 Mercury Marauder. Now, many of you have asked me in the past, like, when am I going to build something? And, you know, I never really thought of it, but I've built a lot of models in the past, and I've built the Marauder. So, basically, this is my build of the Marauder, and we will go down to my little camera studio here, and I'll show you and tell you what I did to this Marauder kit to build it as nicely as I built it. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see what I did. This is my AMT 1964 Mercury Meteor. And as you can see, it's a very big car, quite long indeed. Uh, the neat thing about this is that all the uh, chrome trim along here and the door handles that's all testers chrome paint. I didn't use any bare metal foil on this when I first did it. That nice red paint is lacquer and I do believe that I sprayed a um, galvanized primer uh, first off and then painted it with the red. You can see I added custom touches like these uh, dual antennas and the sport mirrors. Again it turned out pretty nice. I did build this quite a long time ago when I was young and I have noticed that a bit of the chrome has rubbed off on the edges of those bumpers. The tires here were kit supplied and uh, they do have the white walls on them. The interior is Tester's flat red which complements the rest of the car and there is a little bare metal foil or some kind of chrome foil in on the tops of the seat backs. Now, I'm not sure if that was supplied in the kit or if that was from something else, like one of the Prestige series kits. It's a long time ago that I made this. There's a rear view mirror through the window, and that's basically a look at the front of this car. Here is the hood of our Mercury Marauder, and as I was spinning this around, I realized I said Mercury Meteor. That's not quite right. This is, of course, the larger Mercury for 64. So let's just open up our hood here and take a look at that engine, provided it's not going to be stubborn. <laughs> Alright, so from the top view you can see the big Marauder engine underneath there with this huge air cleaner. This is basically a promotional style model kit where it's got the um, underneath as one big pan. So you can see there's a firewall in here, a battery, the top of our radiator, expansion tanks, and all kinds of other things that these big Fords had. And again, it's quite nice. It went together really easily inside here, and the overall fit of the car just basically drops together. No big mystery. Uh, I'm going to pick this up a little and tilt it. See, as you can see, there's the exhaust headers. And uh, let's just spin around here. All that nice detail underneath. So overall, oops, went together pretty well and I'm pretty happy with it. And here we have the undercarriage of our car and as you can see it has this big Ford perimeter frame very much like the 57 Ford actually now that we look at it. All of this except for the engine of course is one solid pan and there are screw holes in here, just like it came out originally way back in the day. Which actually, you know, when you think about it, it's not a bad thing. Because if I wanted to clean the interior, I can actually unscrew it and pull the whole thing apart. Get in there and clean up the interior, then screw it all back together again. Don't want to do that too many times though, because you will strip the threads out of the plastic. Um, and I'm not talking about wool, I'm talking about threads from the screws, the twisty part. <laughs> As you can see, I painted this section of the bumper black, just so it kind of disappeared in there. But again, very easy to put together. 
the wheels just slip through on metal axles, and I guess that's about it. You have to be careful painting these exhaust manifolds, or sorry, uh, exhaust pipes. The manifolds are back here on the engine block um, because they're very uh, high along the sides. So you've really got to cut them in nice with the side of your paintbrush just to make them look correct. But again, overall, very simple to build. A very easy first kind of kit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that show and tell video of my 1964 Mercury Marauder, and I hope that it acts as an inspiration for when you want to build your Marauder, of course, from the uh, AMT model kit, if you can find one of these, or I do believe maybe round two has released it, or hopefully they will re-release it soon. There are a lot of cool custom parts in there, and if you want to see me unbox that video, or that model, check it out up here. And uh, if you've built this car in the past, uh, tell us how you enjoyed the build. How did you build yours? Did you do the custom features? It would be cool to see. Why not share it over on our Facebook page? I'll leave the link down in the description below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell because I want to show you more of my model car collection, as well as all other kinds of cool videos. So if you don't click the notification bell, when I upload a video, you're never going to know about it. So that's why it's important to click that bell. So from us to you, until next time, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.